time for him, in my opinion, to take that step forward. Thatcher Hurd delivers the first pitch. It's off the mark, and we are underway, which he's doing right here. And Hurd just misses high and away at the halfway mark compared to 82 errors last year. Let's see who's going to cover first. Nobody because the putting comes out from under Gavin Dugas. He was spinning, trying to find his way. Tennessee's leading hitter is at the plate. And he lines it into right center field. This is going to get down in the gap. It bounces three times against the wall. One volunteer scores. Here comes the second. Here's the relay throw. Not in time. A two-run double for Christian Moore. That's his first, uh, fifth double of the season. The Vols have now scored first in all three of the games this weekend. This ball is a rocket out toward right center field. Fastball out of the third of the plate. Sunbathing down there. Now we've got people all over the place getting ready. Base hit to right center field on the ground. Christian Moore scores from second base as Jared Dickey picks on an early pitch. And it's Tennessee three, LSU nothing. We'll take a look at this one. Looks like a changeup. That changeup is elevated just about First letter high where you do not want it hit hard. Wait. He leads the club in base hits, and he leads the club in home runs with 10. This one is shot up the elevator shaft, and Dugas misplays it as he just could not locate it in time. Dugas has had a tough time out there at second base, losing his footing for Tennessee. Inslee, the fifth hitter in a row. Batting 300 or better, draws a quick walk. Field is at double play depth. The pitch misses high and away, ball four. And Dickey scores, it's four nothing. Very limited duty. And a ground ball to the right side. The out is recorded at second. The throwback to Cooper covering is not in time. Another run scores as Booker picks up an RBI on a fielder's choice. Now the pitch bunted to the left side. Tommy White cannot pick it up cleanly. Christian Scott got it on the grass. And Tommy White was unable to glove it cleanly. Swing and a miss. A big second out. The pitch. Swing and a miss. The inning is over. Six in the first for Tennessee. Cruz spanks it through the left side. It has been amazing. He's got a magic wand in his hand. Will make it 26 games in a row, Dylan Cruz with a base hit. See how wide and low he is now versus when before he had two strikes. And he bangs it into right center field. Let's see if it gets down. It will with the center fielder playing very deep. Tommy White is able to measure one to center field. Inslee was so deep, that ball normally would have been caught. Here's the make it happen pitch. That Beloso waves through it. He strikes out with runners on the corners. So I think if you're Jay Johnson, you're hoping you get four out of Riley Cooper. You just don't have a lot of experience yet at home plate. A liner to left is down. Trey Morgan grabs it on a hop, gets it back to the infield. But Blake Burke is now two for two. And the pitch. Dribbled up the third base line. Riley Cooper is wisely going to let that roll foul. Faces toward the river. A drive to left field in the gap. It's going to get down. It takes a couple of hops and bounces against the wall. Tennessee runners circling the bases. It's a double that produces two more runs. That's the third double of the season for Inslee, and Tennessee adds more to its lead. With one out, Burke singled. Inslee followed with a double, and this ball is driven into the right field corner. Booker is on his way to second. Booker will stop right there with another RBI. That's his third double of the season, and it's all Tennessee right now in the first inning and collected an RBI out of Clarksville, Tennessee, and he rips it into right field. That's a base hit. Booker rounds third. He will score without a throw. And Tennessee has racked up 10 runs in its first two at-bats. And you get Arkansas, a top five team. Tennessee was preseason number two in the country. Dylan Cruz backing up, and he's got it. And the inning is over. 
This year, the Tigers have been number one out of the gate from the get-go. A drive deep left center field. It is up, up, and off the bottom of the wall. Jared Jones lopes into second base with his fourth double. And the pitch hits sharply left side. It will score a run. And the throw from the shortstop is wild. Runner is on his way to second base, and he is nailed. Ugh. And that one looked better than the previous one, and I think Neal knew it. Morgan chokes up, oh, maybe half an inch. He drives this one on the ground to the left side. A great pickup by the shortstop. Morgan is safe as he was motoring down the line. Morgan gets up. He's going to make it. A liner up the middle. Base hit for Cruz. He's two for two. Morgan scores easily. Dylan Cruz. He's been Superman. He had a base hit last time. He chases a ball well out of the strike zone. Drew Beam to Beloso. Chopped to the first baseman. Burke does a nice job of stretching for it. That's hit sharply to the left side, and it's through for a base hit. Jared Jones is two for two. Rolled out to the second baseman last time. Let's see where Beam goes. He throws it wide at first base. Tennessee is fielding down at the bottom of the SEC. A drive to right field. It will stay in the park, apparently, but deep enough for the runners to advance. Here's the throw to second base, not in time. It's just a routine ground ball anywhere will play another run for LSU. That's not what LSU needed at all. That's just my little parting gift to you. Ooh. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Dugas is hit. You could hear it and almost feel it. He got it, rips it off the first baseman's glove. One Tiger scores. Here comes another Tiger. Morgan will pull into second base with a two-run double. And here comes LSU. Still a lot of work to be done for the home team. Cruz chops it up the middle. That is through for a base hit. He's three for three. Two more Tigers score as Dylan Cruz, Superman, continues to find base hits with nearly every at bat. Three for three today, three runs batted in. He's swinging on the first pitch and this will be an easy out. And the pitcher will take it all the way himself. To be a productive defensive shortstop and he has been terrific for LSU so far this year. Inslee smacks that pitch up the middle for a base hit. That's the first hit in a while for Tennessee. This ball is going to lead the yard. A full swing, and it is up, up, and away. Zane Denton homers with two outs on a teammate aboard. Zane Denton crashes one into the left field bleachers. It's thrown back now by the uh, LSU fans out there. But a two-run home run, and that extends the lead to 12-6. Just finally healthy. And he draws the base on balls. That's hit sharply off the glove of Moore at second base. The runners advance 90 feet. Tigers get another base runner. The breaking ball, the better chance he has of adjusting. 3-2 pitch. Cruz lays off that spinner. That is one heck of an at-bat contact. He lines this one to left. It's going to carry out to the left fielder. And it's hit sharply enough where there is no advance from the runners. So white lines to left. Let's see. Swing and a miss. A little change up and a really dandy change up by Camden Sewell. Big time pitch. Two big at bats. Malady. And she has developed a friendship with LSU's Dylan Cruz as we get back to play here. And the leadoff double, but just a tremendous moment. Dylan Cruz. A chop to the right side. Dugas is going to have to hurry. And he did not have the time to make the play. The pitch to Moore. 
lifted into right field. Joe Bear comes on, tries to gain some momentum for the throw. Here's the throw. Safe. Now, did he get to the plate with the throw? And Zach Neff, home plate umpire, calls him safe, so apparently he did touch. Boy, an outstanding effort by Brady Neal. Dutton to the plate. Bounced up the middle, a clean base hit. Vander uh, the uh, Tennessee team adds to its lead. A lot of new guys. I mean, you got to remember, they lost a ton of players last year. A lot of new guys don't have a ton of big bats. Blake Burke quickly deposits a liner into right field for a base hit. He cannot find it. Jones taps the curveball to the left side. Transfer and throw safe. And he's hit by a pitch. Here is the 1-0 pitch to Kling. That hit him. Ball coming out of the sun into the shade, harder to pick up. The 2-2 pitch lifted into the air, shallow left field. Booker coming on. Booker has to leave his feet. Booker is able to make the catch. And a single in the sixth. The pitch smashed on a line to left, but Booker's out there again, and the Tigers leave the bases loaded. Booker handles the final two outs, and he walked in the sixth. Chops this one on the backhand side of the third baseman. It rolls into foul ground. Cruz is going to head on to second base. Let's see how that's ruled. It was a short hop backhanded play. Not an easy play at all. White pokes that into right center field. Cruz is going to round third and score without a throw. White with a defensive swing drives in his first run of the game. Stay with us and check on other SEC scores. Travinsky hits it sharply, but right at Kendrow at third. And the throw over to first base is in time. That's hit to the shortstop. And the 0-2 pitch. Hit right back from whence it came. And the second baseman, Moore, cannot make the play on the backhand side. That's clearly a base hit. Center fielder easily is calling for it as he drifts to his left. The runner from second tags up and moves on, but that's the second out. He'll start with that bent position. Morgan lifts this one into foul ground left side. Kendro has room, and Tennessee has the victory. 14-7 the final. Tennessee wins its only game of the series after falling on Thursday and Friday.